Hello everybody, this is Alex the Titanosaur Emperor here with another uh, dinosaur review. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the Schleich 2018 Tawa. Now I don't know much about this dinosaur, I've never even heard of it until I heard Schleich was releasing it. Uh, so I don't know what again. It lived in the Triassic in North America, I believe, that's all I know about it. Now let's get onto the figure itself. When I first saw images of this, this figure, I was actually surprised and blown away about the detail. And then I got the figure in hand, and there's one kind of big problem with, not big problem, but a bit of a problem with it. And it has to do with the feet. These are clown feet, if you don't know the term. Kind of like when they have, uh, da when basically they have oversized feet for balancing issues. I get that, but something on like say a T-Rex or a Giganotosaurus, it's somewhat not noticeable. But like sometimes it's noticeable, but again, this is kind of really noticeable. This is a small speed. This is a small dinosaur. It's kind of related to Coelophysis, I believe. I don't know for sure, but this I just don't know why they had to make the feet this big. We could have made it on a tripod like the Oviraptor, but I don't know. But uh, it does have quills, as you can see on the back of the head and the tail. Uh, the arms are pronated and seem to be very accurate. Which actually is surprising now with Schleich doing accurate figures, because they haven't done that before. <laughs> again, like, again, like, the last few figures in 2017 were garbage, and again, this is my opinion. Uh, I know some people are going to say, like, I know in my Rebor videos, some people said, oh, I like Rebor. I know it's fine, it's just my opinion, so you can, I won't show you for liking the new Schleich figure, the old Schleich figures of 2017. I'm just saying, uh... Just, I don't know, they're not the best Schleich figures. Like, maybe the Brachiosaurus and the Kentrosaurus and the Stegosaurus are the only good ones. Like, they're decently good, but 2018 is a huge improvement. And let's get, take a look at the head sculpt. Mine is a bit smudged. It was like that when I got it. Uh, the teeth are here. Uh, you got, let's see, you got a uh, painted tongue. Mouth is not really there. Uh, belly underneath the giant clown feet, which seem to be more present when you look underneath when you look at their feet from below. No cloaca, but it would be about here in the tail. I do like that they've added a bit of quills. Uh, I don't know much about this species, uh, like again, as I said, but I've heard it had quills. Uh, as you can see, also uh, was it the shoulder blade or whatever the shoulder collarbone or shoulder blade? is popping out here. This one does have a lot of wrinkles as well. It's not as scaly as the other ones, which I do appreciate, but it just seems like it's, uh, yeah, I think it will be more accurate, but I don't know for sure. Oh, sorry, stand. And that again. Uh, I would recommend picking this figure up along with the, the OV Raptor and the Stachosaurus and the Dino Gorgon when that eventually arrives. Uh, I can order that off eBay, but I have no idea when the time frame of that's coming. But again, uh, I would recommend getting these. Um, you can get them at Everything Dinosaur. I got mine off Dean Jenkins. Uh, like I, Everything Dinosaur I would recommend because they're actually a pretty good company. They're fast, they're cheap, they're good and whatnot. Uh, or you can look at your local Schleich sto uh, stores that toy stores that sell Schleich figures. And you can just hopefully they have them. Like I know I have a few stores in uh, Victoria that have some, but just I've checked and they don't have the new ones yet. Okay, so this has been my review of the Schleich Tawa. My next review will be of the uh, Schleich Oviraptor. And then I'll possibly do the Schleich Carnotaurus. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.